These days, it's easy to hop online and instantly access the complete life history of any famous person who ever lived. And even some, it turns out, that probably never lived at all. Yes, despite all the legends and stories, it turns out that some of the biggest names in history may have been totally made up. Here's a look at some famous people who may never have been real in the first place. Mulan Disney introduced audiences around the world to the legend of Mulan, but she was already a big deal in Chinese literature. The tale of a warrior's daughter dressing as a man and fighting in her ailing father's place is a timeless bit of badass girl power. Unfortunately, there's not much evidence that a real Mulan ever existed. The story of Mulan first appeared in the 6th century, not in the history books, but rather in an epic poem fittingly titled The Ballad of Mulan. The story didn't really become popular until a pair of plays written in the 16th and 17th centuries made Mulan a household name. Which is ironic, because one of the playwrights changed her family name to Hua because it was more poetic something that probably wouldn't happen if this was the story of a real person. Sorry, Mushu. All right, that's it. Dishonor. Dishonor on your whole family. Make a note of this. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your cow. Robin Hood. The legendary English folk hero Robin Hood is well known for robbing from the rich and giving to the poor, residing in Sherwood Forest with his gang of outlaws and wooing Maid Marian. The stories about him are certainly fictitious, but could they be based on the exploits of a real person? Or was Robin Hood totally made up? Identifying a single person as the basis for the famous outlaw is nearly impossibly difficult. That's because, as the stories about him began to grow in popularity in the 13th and 14th centuries, random English outlaws began to call themselves Robin Hood. So the historical records are littered with accounts of these many different Robin's Hood. Robin Hoods? Robin's Hoods? These guys. Nevertheless, some historians speculate that Robin Hood may have been based, in part, on nobleman Fulk Fitzwarren III, who rebelled against King John, one of Robin Hood's foes. If he was the basis for Robin Hood, then a name change was a good decision, as Fulk Fitzwarren doesn't have quite the same ring to it. Pope Joan The story goes that in the year 857, the Catholic Church received a major shock when the Pope suddenly and unexpectedly gave birth during a processional. It turned out that an exceptionally talented woman had disguised herself as a man, entered the priesthood, and risen through the ranks to become pope, all without anybody guessing she was female until the whole pregnancy thing gave it away. The story of Pope Joan has been held up for centuries as an amazing tale of faith and feminism, but it may in fact be just a story, though it was believed to be true for centuries, resulting in hundreds of documents detailing her life, not to mention paintings, sculptures, and even what many say is a carving of Pope Joan in St. Peter's Square itself, the Catholic Church's official stance is that she's an urban legend. And legitimate scholars back them up. Professor Valerie Hotchkiss of Southern Methodist University believes Joan's story comes largely from a single book, History of Emperors and Popes, written by a monk named Martin Polanus centuries after Pope Joan's supposed life and death. And once that book got out, everyone just assumed it was true, making it history's first known example of fake news. King Arthur Unless you've been living under a rock, you're probably familiar with the Arthurian legend. You know, guy finds the magic sword Excalibur, invents the bro code with his posse, and then finds the Holy Grail while creating the utopian society of Camelot. Camelot! 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 It's only a model. Shh. Well, while these fantastical stories are clearly a mishmash of folklore, some believe the legends of King Arthur are based on a real person. For instance, some historians suggest the Roman military commander Lucius Artorius Castus as a possible candidate. The King Arthur movie from 2004, starring Clive Owen, follows this line of reasoning and depicts him as a Roman soldier. Others suggest Riothamus, King of the Britons during the 5th century. It's just as likely, however, that King Arthur and Camelot are completely made up, which is probably just as well. Well, on second thoughts, let's not go to Camelot. It is a silly place. Right. All right. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.